good place to build not. I don't know, seven dots that way. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go back? Aye. You ready to head out? I just want to trade a few things. Sure thing. I'm ready to go. Are you ready to go back? Sounds good. Let's go. Damn you gunners. Kill them all? Let's go. What do we have? What are your orders, Captain? We have to bring back law and order. Have you seen how many super mutants are out there? Thousands. It's so dangerous. Right. Who would I talk to about finding them? ISIS. The barbarians. Can I just close my eyes and run fast? You can't do what you're looking to do with 20 trillion in debt. Sure. Crush some skulls. So, are you ready to hit the road? Not now. Well, make up your mind. Hi. Hey, are you free now? Why? What's up? I just want to talk for a bit. So, 
So, I wanted to say, thanks for agreeing with my insane idea of going everywhere so I can mark the places. I know it's really crazy, but I like doing that. I know that maps were preserved in some places, but try to say that it's completely safe out there. The death claws, the tribes, factions, raiders, it's no different from back home. Or in the boneyard. Although it is better there. Plus, I get to explore and find historical places. Things that we lost 200 years ago. Let me ask you a question. How did you get that pit boy? I'm from Vault 111. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I remember reading that all Vault users were given a pit boy. Well, I have my own fair share of adventures. I remember one time I was exploring a place called Sierra Madre. Or trying to. You see, the place was. And is a real mystery. The legend says that tons of gold are inside, and it's also a casino. Quite fitting for New Vegas. But most people that follow that legend ended up dead, or they disappear completely. But it didn't really stop people from trying to get to it. So one day, me and my fellow friends found an abandoned bunker southwest of Vegas, full of signs of Sierra Madre. A legitimately creepy place. Then I decided to return. Only that they wanted the treasure and tried to make me go with them. Well, I shot one of them, but non-legally, of course, and ran as fast as my legs could carry me. One week later, they were all dead. Some of them lost their heads. I'm guessing someone put a bomb on their neck, because it has a clean decapitation. Real gross. That was back in 80. I don't remember exactly which month. Been traveling alone ever since. I can't really trust anyone anymore. There were five of us, including me. My goal was the first one to be found, about 200 meters from the entrance of the bunker. Then the next one, I think it was Bill, since he had his clothes still on, just to nod his head. And the last one was Joseph. Had no clothes, but still had his head. If I missed one, it's because she was never found. Her name was Tina or something. You gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. That's why I hate greedy people, I guess. Asking for more money is just an idiot concept to me. Getting killed over getting more caps? Please. Sorry for nagging you. Wanna explore a bit more? And thanks for listening. Help you. What's your story? My family has a long history in medicine. My great grandfather was actually quite a famous surgeon. I spent many years studying medical science and chemistry at Princeton before being contacted by the United States government. They were interested in my research, so I joined a team of scientists at the Mariposa military base in California. The equipment you retrieved for me has proven incredibly useful. I am making good progress with the FEV project. Actually, I'll be back later. All right. Hancock. Look who it is. We heading out again? Together? I think I could do with some more trouble in my life. Not now. Suit yourself. Hi. So, is it my turn yet? You sure you want to travel with me? Depends on where he's taking me. But yeah, yeah. we're good. Not right now. No worries. We'll get together later. Thoughts on our relationship. Gunners. 
The simple solution hey. is just to kill him. You ready? What are you thinking about? Is everyone in the Commonwealth crazy? Maybe later. Uh, sure. Okay. Wait there. Alright, I'll do it. Come on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Customer. Finally. It's like everybody decided to shake this stuff at the same time. They'll be back. Fucking junkies never change. So, how about it? What are you getting at, smartass? Ah, oh, shit. I've dealt with some space cases before. You better start saying something worth hearing soon or fuck off. Get to it, then. John, if you're looking for a haircut, the salon's open in the morning. I have to say, the entertainment value of this place leaves something to be desired. Perhaps you're in need of some company. You sure you want to travel with me? Unless there's another person out there saving the world. I can't imagine anyone else I'd rather follow. Not right now. No. I'll be here then. Hopefully with a book in my hand and an ottoman under my feet. What's on your mind? Got any work? There's something personal I could use your help with. You see, when I arrived at Parsons in 2075, it wasn't because I was crazy. Someone kidnapped me and brought me there, but I'm fuzzy on the details. For my own sanity, I need to know who took me and why. Okay, I'm listening. The last day I remember, before waking up bound at Parsons, at a doctor's appointment. You see, before the war, I was in the Army Reserves. My unit got called up and we were scheduled to ship out to Anchorage, Alaska, to assist in the war effort there. But before leaving, I had to complete a routine physical and get some blood work done. My appointment was in the morning at Medford Memorial Hospital, and it all seemed to go normal. But afterwards, I was feeling a little lightheaded, so when I got home, I just hung out on the couch and watched TV the rest of the day. Had a late dinner, watched the sunset, and went to bed early. After that, my memory's a complete blank. Next thing I remember, I was an inmate at Parsons. Do you have any more details? No, that's the crazy part. The last thing I recall clearly was watching the sunset. All I know is that at Parsons, I overheard them talking about there being something unique in my blood or DNA. And just before being abducted, I had blood work done. That can't be a coincidence, right? I'm hoping that if I head back to Medford Memorial, or whatever is left of it, that it might help jog my memory. Will you help me check it out? I don't see why not. I appreciate it. Let's head over to Medford Memorial then.